BYU fans know the story of how Coach Bronco Mendenhall righted the football ship with his Band of Brothers theme. What they don't know is how a certain society of sisters started some football history of their own on this campus. You never thought I would end up being a football player, but here I am after my PhD playing football. I was in a PhD program and I was roommates with Sarah Olson Brinton and she told me that she had a dream to come to BYU in some kind of faculty capacity and to start an all-women's faculty flag football team. So playing against students is an interesting proposition. It's mostly really discouraging because it turns out that the like 20 years between their average age and our average age, like you lose a lot of speed and agility and on top of that, like let's be honest, most of us are pretty nerdy and so we were never like top athletes to begin with. I think one of my favorite things about the A-Lot is our sort of, it's kind of like sassy humility. We named ourselves the A-Lot and that is to remind us that at the end of the day we still have great parking and we, you know, we can take this loss. Our cheer at the end of the game is great parking always wins because we may not have won the football game, but we know that when we come to campus, we can park closer than the students can. E parking M90, ya pumelela okokoko. That means good parking always wins in Plosa. And Plosa is the language I use in my research in South Africa. Most of the people on the team have at least three degrees. I'm usually pretty introverted, fairly soft-spoken. I do a lot of my work one-on-one -on -one with people, so that works really well. On the field, however, I yell. I'm far more gregarious, willing to take someone down if they're in my way. Easily the most competitive person on the field is Kim. She's a lawyer. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. It's really fun to actually play against a student that you know. So I always scan the faces of the other team before we play, just looking for a familiar face. I think it's just fun to be able to connect with them outside of the classroom. Managing the BYU football roster, well, it gets tricky with so many student athletes coming and going to serve missions. But juggling a roster of professor athletes, well, that gets exponentially more complicated. We've had a couple of teammates play while pregnant, carrying the ball and their baby, pulling this reverse play and just running down the sideline, high stepping it. And I mean, it was fabulous. Jen had her flags like up above her sort of belly. And, uh, you know, the ref was like, your flags are up too high. And she, she was like, um, what do you want me to do? Like, it's either up or down, but there's no middle. <laughs> my biggest supporter as I've been on the A-Lot team is definitely my husband, Scott. Every time we make a first down, Scott's always leading the cheer. It's pretty unusual for us to score. And we celebrate our first downs as if they are touchdowns. It was our last game of the season and the clock was almost running out. We've managed to march down the field. We were very close to the end zone. And I was running into the end zone and I actually didn't see the other team's player. Jen threw the ball just about the time I collided with that other player. I don't remember exactly what happened. I, just, I kind of turned in the air and I threw my hand up to try and knock the football down and got my hand on it, knocked it down, and then I caught it. And then the ref uh, called a penalty. And the ref is actually, well, was in my political science 150 class, so pretty gutsy to do that. I started saying things like, oh, you should deny the penalty, deny, you know, decline the penalty. And, you know, finally they said, okay, we declined the penalty. And, and the ref's like, really? Penalty is declined, yes, yes, yes. And so we ended up getting the touchdown. If we were there to win, this would have been over a long time ago. Mostly what we do is we make friends, and then those friends often turn into academic collaborators. Kara Storrs and Chemistry and myself have been working together looking at a possible NSF grant to actually promote women in science. And that collaboration and that friendship may not have happened if not through a lot. There's another member of the team who's also in the chemistry department, Kara Stowers, and she and I, along with some other colleagues, have actually put together a chemistry camp, BYU Chem Camp, that's for elementary school children to come learn about chemistry during the summer. And our goal is really to encourage young girls to pursue studies and careers in STEM fields. I ran for a position on the Faculty Women's Association, and I won. And I don't think that would be the case if I hadn't joined the ALOT team. The ALOT is easily the best thing that's happened to me while I've been at BYU. 
I just feel like we have, we're so close together because we do play together that if I needed help, they would be there for me. We are a team both on and off the field and we're there for each other. We think it's really important for our female students to see a little bit more of our lives and see us as more well-rounded people and, and give them an idea of the variety of things that adult women can do with their lives. Fourth and goal coming up for Ayla. Quarterback takes the snap, drops back to pass, throws to a slanting Stevens, tip ball, and after a collision, touchdown, A-Lot! Stevens came down with it! Great parking always wins!